Hey everyone, welcome to AI Motion Studio. Today I'm excited to share with you a new update from Meta. Meta AI just released the latest version of their large language model, Alama 3.2, and it comes in four different versions. Two of these are multimodal, meaning they have vision capabilities, and the other two are small enough to run on devices like mobile phones and computers. I'm going to walk you through these models, explain the differences between them, and show you how to install them locally on your computer, even if you don't have any technical skills. I've broken it down into a simple five-step process. Then, I'll show you some practical use cases using prompts with Llama 3.2 right on your machine. Let's start by taking a quick look at these models. There are four versions available, and I'll leave a link to the official page in the description. The lightweight models are especially interesting. I think developers are going to get really creative with the 1B model, which has 1 billion parameters. If you're not familiar with the terminology, the lower the number, the more lightweight the model is, making it capable of running on devices like mobile phones. On the other hand, the flagship model, the 400B model, is way too large for my current setup. The multimodal models, the 11B and 90B, come with vision capabilities, making them ideal for image-related use cases. Here's a quick benchmark comparison. The lightweight models outperform both the Gemma model and the F3.5 model that I've tested previously, winning in every category for lightweight models. For the vision models, they also outshine Haiku and GPT-4 Mini in benchmarks. These models are open source, which is one of the main reasons I focus on Llama releases. They're private, secure, and you can run them on your own device. Now, let me show you how to install this on your computer step-by-step. -step. If you don't want to install it locally, you can also use Grok.com, one of Meta's partners. Llama 3.2's 90B, 11B, 1B, and 3B models are available there, and you can test your prompts right on their site for free. For those who want to install it locally, here's the five-step process. First, you'll need to download the Olama app, and I'll leave all the necessary links in the description. It's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. Windows 10 or later. Once downloaded, move it to your Applications folder, and when it opens, you'll see a little Olama icon on top of your screen. From there, it's a straightforward installation. In step two, you'll open the terminal and paste the command provided by Olama to install Llama 3.1 first. This will get you started, and in step three, I'll show you how to install Llama 3.2 using the terminal again. Download is complete. We close the terminal. Now head over to the model page, then we click on the Llama 3.2 and copy the installation code. Then open a new terminal, paste the code, and press enter to install the new Llama 3.2. We wait for the installation to complete and then close the terminal. Step four involves installing Docker on your computer which you don't need to interact with directly. It just needs to be running in the background. To install Docker, go to docker.com and download the appropriate version for our system. In this case, we'll be downloading for Mac Apple Silicon. Once downloaded, we move the app into Applications folder and open the Docker app, click the Skip button, and let it run in the background. Finally, step five is where you set up the chat interface using Open Web UI which gives you a more user-friendly way to interact with Llama instead of using the terminal. We go to the Open Web UI page and copy the code for chat interface. We scroll down to where it says installation with default configuration, and we copy the first line of command. Then open a new terminal, paste the code, and press enter to install the new Open Web UI interface. Once installation is complete, we close the terminal and go back to Docker where we will see a link automatically appeared which will take up to the web UI for Llama. Now we click on the link which would open the web UI interface for the first time. We will have to register an account, just create an account by clicking the sign up button, enter your name, email address and a password and create account. Once everything's set up, you'll be able to select from any of the models you've installed like the 3B or 1B versions. You can then start chatting with the model running prompts, and testing its capabilities right on your own machine without even needing an internet connection. 
The response time of the 3B model is pretty good, but that will depend on your computer's GPU. If you have a less powerful setup, you can always use the 1B model, which should run fine on most machines. If you're not installing it locally, you can still use Grok.com to test out the bigger models like the 11B and 90B, which are great for more complex tasks. I'll be showing you how those models handle creative writing, marketing, and even simple coding tasks in the future videos. For now, I'll start by running a quick test on the 3.2B model. Let's try write a 500-word YouTube video description for the title, How to Install Llama 3.2. Easy 5-step guide tutorial. Add relevant hashtags and tags. Okay, not bad. It wrote the content accurately and concisely. Pretty impressive for a lightweight model. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.